Well, today's the end of our unit at All Around Fractions. When I was putting today's video together, I was thinking, wow, we have looked at fractions in so many different ways, and your understanding is going to be really good. And today's that key video where we bring back into your mind all those experiences to really cement them so they are going to stick. It's been really good. It'll be really worthwhile going through, revisiting all those things today. So today's the last day on our little unit that we've had all around fractions. We've done so much, learned about fractions in so many different ways. And that I think is reflected by our heading today. Toddlers, arms and elephants. We're going to do a revisit of all the things that we've done. It's going to really cement it in your mind. Hopefully it's going to be super, super helpful and bring back some great, great thinking. Uh, we started off way back uh, two weeks ago looking at this. Uh, share this toast. So we were saying, well, four children sharing th uh, three pieces of toast. What would they do? And we figured, well, it would, they would end up with three quarters because they would. it might be we split each piece of toast in quarters and they have one of those quarters each. So they have three quarters. Or maybe they'd split the first two pieces in half. So they'd have a half. And then they'd split the last piece into quarters and they'd have one of these quarters. So we'd have a half and a quarter. But either way, we'd have three quarters. Um, now, here's an example for you today then. Well, let's say um, there were six friends and they had four pieces of toast. What would they do then? Now, if I say to a lot of children, what is four divided by six? They'll say, well, I don't know. But if I gave them the pieces of toast and there were six of them, they would certainly do something. Uh, pause the video and have a go. And then when you're ready, let's have a look. Let's see if we can see a couple of possible solutions. Um, so I guess what you could do is let's say if we split those three pieces of toast in half, then what would everyone have there? They'd have a half. That would be, that's six halves. Um, and then I guess we'd have to share that last piece of toast there. So then we'd have a sixth of that last one. So what fraction would we have? Well, we'd have a half and a sixth. Now, as it happens, we actually looked at how a half equals three sixths. And this is something that you'll come to in the future in maths. And so I can then add those fractions up three sixths out of six is four sixths, something for the future. Um, equally, it might be you didn't do that and you thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to split each piece of toast into three pieces. Um, and that's one way it can be done. Um, because then what do I have? I have 12 pieces of toast or 12 thirds of toast. I should say. Um, and now because I've got 12 bits now, six people, they can have two each. They can have two thirds each. There's another way. Then we moved on to having a look at fractions of areas. Um, and we gave this example. So we said the fraction of a school that is a kitchen is smaller than the fraction of a home uh, that is generally the kitchen. Um, now, the fraction, uh, like a school kitchen, is normally bigger than a home kitchen, but a home is normally much smaller than a school. Um, so, um, and that's kind of reflected here. So it might be that in a house, let's say this little picture reflects maybe a fifth of the house, but there's way more than five of the space of this area in the whole of this shape. Um, and we were trying to emphasise that idea with animals. So here comes our elephants and my favourite animal of them all, uh, the largest world's rodent, the capybara. Um, so what I wondered is if you can come up with some part and whole examples to describe our elephant and our capy friend. Pause the video and have a go at that. OK, so let's say, for example, it might be we could say an eye is a tiny fraction of an elephant and a tusk is a fairly small fraction of an elephant, but a leg is it becomes a larger fraction of an elephant and, and a tummy is, um, is um, maybe it's more than half of an elephant or maybe it's about half. Whereas look at our capybara, I think it's you could say its body is more than half of a capybara. A big nose as well, don't they? Um, now, hopefully that helps when, we, when we've understood about parts and holes in find, finding fractions of shapes. Um, so let's have a look at this one. Um, so what fraction of this shape is blue? Uh, pause the video and see if we can work that one out. OK, and where we got to is what you can't just think, well, there's one, two, three, four pieces, so it must be one quarter because the pieces aren't all the same size. So I've got to think this size piece, how many in the whole? There's one, two, if I split that into equal size pieces, three, four, and then another four in there. So actually there, what we have is one eighth. 
1 over 8. Um, and then we moved on to seeing fractions on a number line and our baby photos, going through to our toddler photos here. And we got this idea that sometimes when we're counting, um, we, we normally count in whole numbers, but we can also go up in fractions. And we saw the age of uh, one of my daughters there as she was getting older by a quarter of a year each time. So we got to one, then one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters with all that dressing up. And look at that proud two-year-old there, two and a quarter. Um, and that's similar, we were saying to, and this is something we'll come to in your questions, using arms, when using cubits when we were measuring as well. And we might need to measure in a quarter. And it links to this idea of numbers on a, fractions on a number line. Um, and we had a look at fractions on the number line and how half is further along on a number line than the third because pieces of a half are larger and quarters, again, are even further back and, and so on. We also had a look at breaking up uh, number lines with different endpoints. So 0 to 4 in four equal sections is jumps of 1. Uh, 0 to 2 in four jumps is jumps of a half. And of course, 0 to 1 is steps of a quarter. And, and this is one of the tasks you were given. So which answer is correct in each example? See if you can recap that one. Uh, pause the video. Well, the top example, it, the, the line is split into four pieces, one, two, three, four, and that's three pieces along, so three quarters. Um, here, um, it is two sections, of course they aren't the same size, half is about there, that'll be about halfway. So you get four of these pieces in this line, so this is a quarter. And what about this one here? Well, one is here, so actually in this case this one is a half, because it's halfway between zero and one, one would be there. Um, now, we also then move to finding fractions of amounts and Theo has managed to find a mistake in the answers from yesterday. So have a look. These are three of the questions. Um, now, fortunately, two of the answers are correct, but one is incorrect. Can you find it? Pause the video, see if you can spot it if you haven't already. Well, I was right to say that a third of 150 is 50 because 150 split into three equal uh, pieces is, is 50. But of course, two thirds isn't 50 as well. If one third is, two thirds is two lots of 50, 100. Right on it, Theo, well done. And then we had a look at examples like this one. And we said oh, a third of, so this picture shows a hole here and then split into thirds. Now, which is the larger part of this number sentence here? Is it a third of, is it this bit here or this bit here? Just kind of tell yourself, tell, the, uh, tell your screen. And when you've done that, uh, I'm going to give you a little question that we're going to move on to. So a third of a number equals 30. What's the number? Pause the video. Now, my guess is you either thought it is 10 or it's 90. That's just my guess. Um, well, let's have a look. Um, so a third of something equals 30. So this is a third. And it's 30. That's, of course, the other third is 30. And, and the last third is 30 as well. So the whole amount, it's got to be 90. We're going to finish just by showing you this fabulous, fabulous example from Emily. Uh, and this is something that you'll come to, again, as your extension today for some children. Um, so we had this number sentence, two thirds of 90 equals 60. Emily has taken that in so many different directions to find different, uh, different fractions of amounts. So again, it'd be fabulous, fabulous. If you can extend your thinking, challenge yourself, if that's the right thing for you, having a go at that task later on. So well done, Emily. And again, absolutely wonderful that you've sent it through. And so getting to today's task all together now, click on the blue link underneath the video. We've got a task A and a task B. Uh, we're after, for each pair here, uh, it's the larger fraction. Which one's the larger fraction? And in the example below, is it the larger fraction, the blue part, or is it the red part? Different fractions that are equivalent to a quarter. I wonder how many different ones you can find. And then we've got some fractions of quantities questions. See if you can see the links between them. Uh, similarly for task B. And what I would love to see is if you can extend yourself in these last questions. How could you come up with your own examples, linked examples, really push yourself. I'd love to see any or all of your work. Um, and again, it's been fabulous, fabulous having you.
Everyone, it's been fantastic having you joining in. You did a really good thing. Hopefully you're getting a lot from it. You found it really enjoyable. Um, we're going to have a bit of a change of gear because we're going to move into an emphasis around problem solving in lots of different areas. So lots of rich problems, lots of thinking. We're going to unpack that back on Monday. See you then.